Hello there everyone and welcome to another episode of Vintage Bolton. Well if you haven't guessed already, I love coral speakers. Vintage coral speakers. And this is my latest coral build. It might be clear to some already that I've just copied Kevin from Glow in the Dark Audio, who's a huge fan of open baffle speakers and sensitive full range drivers. And I'm no different. This is my first speaker build ever. I've had a whole bunch of box speakers and I thought, you know what, I'm going for it. I'm gonna do open baffle and I'm gonna use nothing but coral drivers. So what I had on hand, I've actually collected quite a lot of coral drivers over the years. Uh, and this is the, this, this beauty here is the, uh, the Coral Flat 8-2 or 8B, which is labeled on the back. And it's an eight inch full range driver with the wizard cone. And the woofers are the 12L25B from the Coral 12SA kit speaker build. So as you can see, it's a fairly simple build to make yourself. And that's what attracted me to it so much when I was reading about it on Go in the Dark. I'll put a link below. I was lucky in that these Tasmanian oak boards are really already the size that I wanted. One big baffle in the middle, two smaller wings that are attached by hinges, and then a couple of black handles on each wing to make it easier to move around. And you can turn these in and out to your listening desires. If you go around the back, you can see the hinges. Just these simple black hinges. And let me pop around, show the drivers themselves. I did a few modifications myself on them. I used some felt, just some stick on felt strips on both because I felt that they were both, these baskets were ringing a fair bit. At that, I kid you not, just this simple reversible modification really took away that ringing from the baskets. And I also did, and this is information that you can sort of get online, especially when it comes to these coral flats, is, is that you can make a small dent in the, in the dust cap. And that's going to improve those high frequencies a lot. Some people even remove them all together with a knife, but I thought, well, let's give it a crack with just a small dent first before I go and totally wreck them. A couple of things that I would do differently next time is that I would taper these, these edges with the router, but I'm still a little bit of a novice when it comes to using the router. Could easily front mount the drivers, but I just feel like aesthetically it's so much more pleasing from the back. And I can't see any of those screws. And so far, you know, I still think it sounds pretty damn good. And I was keeping my, I was actually keeping my expectations low about the base. You know, being open baffle, even with a 12 inch sort of woofer there. But I was pleasantly surprised and I'm not someone who loves excessive bass anyway. If I'm noticing the bass instead of the music, well, I think there's something wrong with that. Overall, I'm very pleased with the outcome. Uh, I'm gonna keep making these baffles. I might even just be able to make the middle baffle and take off the wings and interchange them because the next speaker build I'm moving on to is the indomitable Coral 12TX1s coaxial drivers and that will definitely be a single driver build as opposed to the the two driver build here but for now what I've got is a track to play for you it's called Beijing by Weightless from the Artlist website and that's the the, the stock music website I use for all of my my um, freelance work and well it works well for YouTube and demonstrating these speakers because I'm not going to get any sort of copyright claim as much as I'd love to show off you know some of the turntable music some of the vinyl 
And this is a track that I think has got a fair bit of depth to it. And hopefully you can get a bit of an idea of how these coral two-way open baffle speakers sound. <laughs> 